The Louisiana Christian University Wildcats are now 5-0 in the 2023 season, coming off a 29-17 victory at Oklahoma Panhandle State University on Saturday. And we're going to break it down for you. Joining us on the set, as always, is the head coach of the LCU Wildcats, Drew Maddox, and coach at such a long road trip to go on. And that game was a little tense until the very end. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, was uh, it was good for us. You know, we hadn't really been tested like that, to be honest with you, all season. And, uh, and those guys are very good. Last year, we, you know, we didn't beat those guys. We went up there and kind of did the same thing we did. But somehow found a way to win and, and uh, put together a great drive at the end. Our offense just took away the – sucked the life out of them. And uh, anyways, it was a good way to end it. It was a very good way to end it. Right. That drive that you're referring to <laughs> was 99 yards in 18 plays, took up about nine minutes, yeah. and not only extended the lead, but really didn't leave them with much time to come back and do anything. Yeah, and that's what we had, you know, the, the first couple of plays of the, of the series there, we were at the one-yard line, so I just said, hey, let's sneak it twice and then see what we get out of it. And if it's if we don't get anything out of it, we'll try to do it again and get some yards to punt because our defense have played really well. And I was like, just put it in our defense's hand and let's go. And, uh, and then uh, once we got the first down, Sal made a great play, ran around with his feet. The, the throw wasn't there. And, uh, ran, the, ran the ball, made a good first down, and then I just, you know, told Coach Feast, hey, let's suck the life out of him. I don't want to do anything but run the ball the rest of the way. I want to take – I said, let's go 99 yards and take the fourth quarter. And uh, that's what kind of what we did. And so it was it was nice to, to see that and know that our offense is good enough to just to do that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, that is a statement type of a drive that you make at the end of the game, something like that. So maybe something for future games too. Yeah, for sure. It's all, it's nice to know that if, I mean, if we can do it like that, you know, it's nice to know that our guys can do it. And, and, uh, the biggest deal is those guys fought so hard. The offensive line was getting after them and, uh, the, the running backs made great plays. I think we had four for, uh, or three, four, four, uh, four down conversions that we made on that, where we got on the plus side of the field and I said, the heck with it, we're just going to go for it. And, uh, and so anyways, we, uh, that was good. It was good to see them, uh, rise to the occasion and, place where a lot of stuff didn't go right and uh and it was good to see that yeah for sure uh and and running that record now to five and oh you've got a couple of games coming up that we'll talk about in just a moment but how important for you guys was it to win that game at a place where you lost last year to kind of say hey we really are that better team than last year yeah it was it's just you know i, I think that there was a lot of a little of that you know where it's it's nice to kind of get revenge you know sweet revenge on an opponent that beat you the year before uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's really it was just the next opponent. And, uh, you know, like I've said before, I, I feel like this team kind of wants to be remembered and, and uh, want to leave a legacy and all that. So uh, I think it's just the next step, and hopefully we can just continue to get better. That's the biggest deal because we really wouldn't have been in that situation had we done some things better. Hmm. And so that's the other part that we'll try to get better on. So what do you think you can do better from that game? Uh, not turn the ball over. So we turned it over. We, we turned it over three times, uh, twice inside uh, our own 40-yard line. So uh, and, and I think it resulted in points on one. Uh, and so uh, that, that's the biggest deal. We can't lose a turnover battle three to nothing. Uh, we, we didn't take it away either on defense. Mm -hmm. And so we had a couple opportunities, just didn't do it. And so uh, that's, the, that's the number one thing that, that we've got to get better at. And then, you know, when, when we, we, we are in a hostile environment like that and everything seems to uh, not go our way, there was a chance there where uh, it could have gone, you know, maybe bad for us a little bit. And, uh, and, and it didn't, and it's on them, but we could still handle some things better than what we did and understand you know, that we were in a bad, uh, hostile environment. We were in a place where the calls maybe weren't going our way and things like that. And we just got to play. We just got to keep yeah. playing. We, we can't get caught up in the moment like we did just a couple of times. Uh, I was really proud of them, to be honest with you. But we could get better at that and not have a couple, you know, pa uh, penalties that we had uh, being retaliatory, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think even had a couple of touchdowns that were called back yeah right? we did we had a couple of touchdowns called back and they extended some drives on some uh you know like a taunting penalty and things like yeah. that that yeah. uh we'll, we'll try to do our best to clean up for sure uh you had a player of the week being your kicker levi hillborn ended up with three field goals in the game so uh, nice to see him get that that reward tell the story about how he ended up here because it's it's pretty interesting yeah so uh he was actually gonna go play soccer uh and i can't remember i think it was he, T. Permian Basin or something like that. Like that yeah. And so, uh, anyways, uh, we knew him. We knew of him as a kicker, and that's what we kind of wanted him as. And he decided to, uh, right there at the very end to not go. Or actually, I think he did go to UT for a couple weeks or a week or something like that. And then he got here right before 
uh, you know, a couple of days, and then he got here right before we started school, and so that was last year, and uh, and so we got him through and all that, and he's just been he's been a, a pleasure to work with, and and works hard, and uh, you know, I, I know you know who the, the reference is, but he's like an Adon type guy when it yeah. comes to football. He work he works out with the guys. You know, a lot of times kickers we got to get on him about working out and things like that. He's he's all in. He works out hard and tries very hard and all that. So. Uh, we love Levi. So, anyways, he'll you know, he might be out for a little bit. Uh, one of those rough on the kickers. Oh no! Got him. But uh, anyways, uh, we love him, and he'll he'll be back and all that at some point. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So hurt his leg. I yeah, don't know. hurt, hurt. Oh man. Yep. That's yep. not good. Yep. So that's not good. It's, just, it's a testament to how tough he is too, because it happened, and then he still came back in the game and and uh, finished it out for us. Wow. So, uh, anyways, yep. Hmm. So who do you, who do you have as your replacement kicker? Hunter. Hunter Martins. Yeah, Hunter okay. will be in here. So he's a guy that's 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 made kicks for us in the past, and he's yeah. he's just as good probably in that realm. So uh, we'll be all right. All right, sounds good. All right, let's look ahead a little bit. You got a home game coming up against a school called North American, which is out of Stafford, Texas, yep. southwest of Houston. Uh, what do we know about them? Uh, so I'll tell you, in 2021, they beat us first game of the year here. That was their one of their first games to ever play as a program. They beat us 44. 41, 40. Uh, I remember it very well. And so, uh, you know, I told the guys, a lot of the guys on this team were on that team. And so they remember it as well. Hmm. And so uh, we're excited to get another crack at them. Excited to get them back in, in, in Pineville. And, uh, you know, most people don't win here. So we'll try to do that for them and bless them that way. But uh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's good, to, good to get them back again and all that. So they're uh, in a conference affiliate. So it's not a full conference game. Uh, they're trying to work their way into the NAI and all that, and uh, so, anyways, it'll be uh, it'll be a good test. They've got some athletes; uh, they really do. And uh, one of them played here before, and we we know we know him pretty well. And mm. uh, good kid, and ready to see him again, say hey to him. But uh, anyways, it'll be an uh, exciting test for us. So this will be your first home afternoon game, a two o'clock yes. start. Yeah, a little different. Uh, Talked to the guys about that. I guess on Monday. Uh, that you know, and, and we'll send out the itinerary pretty soon, and just show them how we'll move or, move around. Being the time is a little earlier, but I think everybody's kind of excited about that. I know, I know, I am a little bit, and uh, uh, you know, it's nothing like it'll be good weather too. 70, yeah. 72 or seventy three degrees at, around that time kickoff. So, uh, anyways, it'll it'll be a good good deal. Just bump everything up, and we'll be fine. You got the next week then at Texas College, and then a big road trip to Ottawa in Arizona. Any danger of looking past these next couple games before that big one? I mean, there's always that that possibility, but they haven't showed that. Practice has been pretty good this week. And so I don't think I don't think we're there. I don't think yeah. they'll they'll do that. Uh, and so I think we'll come out and give them our best effort and uh, and and prepare cuz uh, they're they're a good team, they're a talented team and Texas colleges as well. So uh, we we kind of peeped a, a little bit trying to get some stuff done for them and so I think we'll uh I think we'll uh, we'll have to bring our best effort, and I think they will. In the national polls, two polls that we look at every week, looks like you stayed about the same yep. this yep. week. So I figured we probably would. Uh, everybody's kind of gauged in us, and then also we, you know, it's it's going to kind of be there until we beat somebody that, that has a number by their name, probably. Uh, to everybody will say, "Oh, they're serious. They're for real." Even though we've beaten a couple good opponents so far. Yeah. Uh, one of them being Langston's really good, and I think Tom's going to tell how good they are. Uh, and so, anyways, we'll we'll see. But that'll probably be it'll be he'll take somebody to it'll take us to beat somebody with a number by their name, and, and then everybody will see that uh, that maybe we're legit. All right, Drew. Well, it's coming up to uh, Saturday at two o'clock, and it's also preview day for the campus of Louisiana Christian University. If you have a son or a daughter or a grandchild that wants to come to LCU, it's a perfect day to come because not only. Do they get to go to preview day, they get a free lunch, and then they get free tickets to the game? Yeah, it'll be a great atmosphere, and, uh, you know, we'll have a band there and all that good stuff. So uh, come out, watch the game, come watch the, you know, I guess somebody told me we're the winning this program in, in Louisiana right now. So come right. check it out. Yep, the best show in town. All right, Drew, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's our cat chat for this week. Have a great day. Claws up.